Here's the little notebook. I actually got... Welcome to Giver Ames channel. Welcome back if you are an OG. It's what a mess. <laughs> Sorry guys, I am busy in the house with stuff. My camera is flashing so I thought let me just open the blog here and say Jumelang Jumelang Lekai. I hope you all enjoyed your Christmas and you're still enjoying your um, festive season. Welcome to vlog number last, last vlog of 2023. I'll definitely see you in the next year. I hope you guys are being safe. I hope you guys are being financially smart. I hope you guys are drinking plenty and plenty of water. And I hope you are going back to my old videos and watching them for me because we are almost monetized, guys. Please, please, please. This is a big please for me. Please go back and watch my other videos, older videos that you have not watched and watch them from beginning to end. Even if you are busy doing something in the house, leave it playing in the background or play on your phone. Let your phone sit there while you're taking a nap, while my video is playing. Please, I beg of you guys. I really need to get monetized now. I think um, this has been a very long journey for me. This has been a rough year for me with YouTube, with life, with everything else. So I'd really like to reap the rewards now. Anyway, let me stop blabbing. Hope you enjoy this video. I'm not going to say much about what's going to happen on this video because I have no clue whatsoever. I just wanted to come and say hi and welcome. And remember to please subscribe. Subscribing is for free. So please, please, please do me the honor. Do me the justice of subscribing. I put in a lot of effort and every single one of my colleagues put in so much effort into editing, into posting, into doing all sorts of things, pretty thumbnails, pretty this, pretty editing. Please just subscribe to our channels. It really, really, really helps us um, and it's for free. So yeah, if you can do us an honor and sit back and enjoy, okay, because we love you guys. So um, I'll see you in a bit. I just need to charge this battery and get the house sorted. I just came back from grocery shopping for January because a girl is organized. And then I'll see you guys a little bit later. Your heart, keep it in your pocket for some keeping. Don't ever let nobody be the reason. You throw it out, you stop caring about
Today is the 29th, the 29th of December and I just woke up, made baby breakfast, 
tidied up the house a bit, got into the shower, but I feel like actually going to relax into a nice long hot bath. I am working as well, so I'm going to make it very quick. My son's watching cartoons inside. So I'm going to make it a little bit quicker than, um, you know, anticipated, but I just wanted to say welcome to another day of the vloggy vlog. Later on, I want um, to go and get his cosmetics, like his, his wipes, his Colgate, what else does he need? He needs Aquas cream. He's, there's a whole lot of things. I actually need to write a list because every time I go to the shops, I forget the Panthen. You see, I need to write a list. And then I want to show you guys my cute little organization organize what do we call it a to-do book a to-do notebook that i got myself we're going to start journaling on that for 2024 consistently because i'm tired of using like normal notepads but i'll show you the one that i got it's in the car i've left it in the car um this one is more like structured it's got dates on there it's got to-do list sections there it's it's very cute so I'm going to be using that consistently for 2024. Basically, I think this vlog is just about how I'm going to be living a very calm and structured lifestyle going forward with blocking out noises from toxicity, from people that want drama, from anything that is going to cause my peace to be tainted i'm blocking all of that out and i'm going to start being more organized i'm going to work on myself as well because obviously everybody has flaws i too have flaws i'm going to be working on all of those flaws and for me to do that i obviously need to jot down those things and write them down i communicate badly i don't apologize i do a b c d e and then work on those things gradually you know step by step until i'm at a place where i'm like I did it or I am improving and that for me is the kind of goal setting that I want to do for 2024 it's about personal development so I hope you guys are also hydrating I hope you are praying I hope you are trying to relax before it gets crazy for the 30 before the 31st and um, I hope you're saving money. I know I keep saying this, but I hope you're saving money, guys, because now my door is closed. My door's closed for Not available. Kidding. So, um, no, but serious. <laughs> Let me get dressed and get my son organized as well. And I'll see you guys a little bit later when we go to the shops. I think we're going to go to the shops. I'm not sure. Yes, we are. We have to. So yeah, let me see you guys a little bit later. I'm rambling.
how cute are these bottles so i know you guys will probably ask i got these at china mall it was about 170 rand or 179 or something it's a three layer you know those famous three layer bottles those ones so i wanted us to chat guys mm. and so i put my water as well because this is Teta. This is Teta Galau girl. I've got two things that I want to show you. Let's start with this little PR drop that I got. I hope my address isn't over here. So it's from a company called Luscious Duchess. They are so they were so friendly enough, nice enough to send this package through to me. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, so Luscious Duchess does luxury bedding and these kinds of things. Please go and check them out. I'm linking the Insta page on here. Mm. So they sent me two pillowcases. It's a twin pack pillowcases. They're 45 by 70 centimeters. Um, color gray and it just says promotional sample and it's from luscious duchess these are silk um, pillowcases I love silk pillowcases because you know I'm a skincare girly and do you know what silk pillowcases do for a girly skin <laughs> can I tell you <laughs> I'm so excited. I just want to open it for you guys before I go into the nitty gritties. <gasps> My word. <gasps> this material. This, this silk is proper like silk. It's stunning. I can't wait to change my bedding later on tomorrow. <gasps> So I chose the grey colour because I feel like white, white and silk, it gets dirty very quickly. So I'm loving this. Oh, so excited. I'm so excited. Anywho, so yeah, cute man. Okay, ball love bags. Um, with the scissors okay so I also got myself this cute little notebook I actually got this for 20 rand 20 rand guys at China Mall um, let me let me open it up I got it for 20 bucks because this girl is going to be one of many notebooks and planners that I'm going to keep for myself and make use of and not let it just gather dust but I'm actually going to use it um, so there it is I love the color it's extremely keba <laughs> let me just remove that little strappy there so I don't know if you guys can see. Let me come here and show y'all. Um, uh, okay, the lighting's not good. Um, it's the end of 2023 and I've been doing a lot of reflecting I've been doing a lot of thinking and it was a lot um, firstly I just want to say you know God has been very good for carrying me through this year I'm very grateful for that um, I'm grateful for the hardships that have given me lessons 
and I think just as a lesson for all of us on this channel as well for everybody that's watching first and foremost when you do your reflection um, always be grateful no matter whether you achieved the goals that you wanted to achieve or not for the year be grateful that you are still alive that you're still healthy still have a job you still have a roof over your head that you are still whole as a human being and you are able to wake up in the morning and be with loved ones because people have gone through the most this year and if you reflect and think of i don't know if my screen is clean let me just clean my screen quickly sorry guys i don't want to do that to you if you think of the lots of people that we have lost um personally i lost my dad this year that was a lot for me um i lost my dad i lost one of my best friends i'm trying not to get emotional and it was a lot for me to handle i also lost myself um with regards to not putting enough boundaries in place with certain people but that lesson is well found and i think for me being in that space of being used and being abused and being bullied by people in my life that I had in my life at the time has given me the opportunity to be in the position that I am in now, which is a piece of solitude, a place of solitude. Solitude where I can just be in my own space, have peace, have a space where I am not surrounded by negative energies, so I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for every lesson, so I don't want to dwell too much on that. I've made some notes, um, and yeah, reflection is reflection. I think it's something that everybody should do in their personal time on their own. There's a lot of things that I could reflect on, but first and foremost, thank you to God for bringing us this far, a whole year. It was rough. I won't lie. Me personally, it was really, really, really tough. I went through the most this year, but I'm grateful for the lessons, for the love, for the pain, for the growth, for everything. I'm really, really grateful. So the next thing I want to chat about is goals. I don't think that I'm going to go into 2024 with hard goals in place. I want to have a more of a manifesting um, notion and approach to life I just want to manifest the things that I want and how I see my life going um, you know in the future I am not going to be you know hard on myself anymore with regards to achieving goals and not achieving them at the end of the year because that brings you into so much depression at the end of the year when you haven't achieved those goals that I've decided to cut on the goals I just want a structured life where as and when the time goes throughout the year i'm going to be setting small and very short-term goals for myself i achieve them great i don't achieve them it's fine i'm not going to put pressure on myself because i think that's what causes so much stress in my life so uh, maybe you can implement the same kind of aspect whether those kinds of things are in god's plan they're all in god's plan and i think the one biggest thing that I am definitely strung up on and I'm definitely the I'm so hung up on this one is my connection with God and my relationship with God and finding myself in a place where he speaks before me. He walks in front of me. He does everything and anything that has got to do with giver and um yeah, that's the only really goal that I've got. That's really the only goal that I've got for this next year. Um, but I think I just want to let you guys know just a bit as, uh, of a... <coughs> I beg your pardon. Of a motivation is that all you need to do, guys, is just approach a new year and every year going forward with a bit of optimism and a bit of resilience. Um, be optimistic that things will work out. Be positive. And I know it's hard when you've had a tough year, like I've had, but you need to get yourself in that right mindset because everything that 
you hold in your physical form in your life is based on everything that you think of. Your mind sets the scene for everything tangible in your life. Whether it's love, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, whether it's having children. Everything is here. No doctor can tell you that you cannot have kids. No CEO can tell you that you can't have a promotion and be an MD of a firm. Nobody can do that but your mind and obviously following that is your hard work. So it's all up to you how you navigate your life and your life is navigated on manifestation which is something that I am also <clears throat> going to start you know, navigating my life with um, going forward. It's, it's not worth depending on the next human being to determine where your life should be. It doesn't work like that, you know? So change your mindset, talk to God, speak to Him all the time, and then just let Him do what He needs to do. It's His job and it's His prerogative to align everything in place for you the way it's meant to be. And I'm going to close the vlog off by saying that you have the power to basically set your destiny. And yeah, you have the power to shape your destiny. And you have the, you have the power to make your life as beautiful as you wish it to be. Your wish is your own command and God's work to make that happen. In summary. So I love you guys so so much with regards to YouTube um, there is going to be a little bit of rebranding and this for this channel um, a little bit of rebranding a whole lot better quality in terms of you know the consistency the um, value that I add to this channel and just more of taking YouTube on a higher level and on another level that is going to get me to where I want it to get me. And I can only do that with you guys. And with that being said, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for all 1,240 of you that have subscribed to my channel, that are always coming back, that are always rooting for me, that have always been supporting and telling me to go on when I've wanted to give up. You guys have been my reason to continue with this channel. I've wanted to delete this channel quite a few times, but because of you guys, you kept me going. And I want to say thank you for that. It means a whole lot to me. I love you guys so much. I feel like I know my community personally, which is such a beautiful and great blessing that God has given me given the fact of what I've all the losses that I've had over the year and I'm just grateful and I'm, I'm grateful I'm grateful and I love you guys so much and I hope to see every single one of you in the next year healthy happy mindfully and intentionally intentionally going into the new year with good spirits resilience and just being powerhouses so yeah happy new year i'll see you in 2024 and um i love you so much thank you thank you once again